bit steep. We'll, we'll figure out something else here. Um, we may really have to push this back quite a bit now that I look at it. Uh, but I want to clean these up a little bit, and I'm going to give myself a little in on the side here. Because I'd like to see how these towers look uh, at a proper height next to the arch of the bridge. Those are the right height there. Yep. Let's go build up the other ones. How many do I do there? One, two, three, four. So let's do, how far are we up here? Two, three. So we have to do one more. And I'm going to chop this part down and then get in here and properly just get rid of some of this old bush design that was here temporarily. I think that's everything. And then these have got to go because there's actually more wall there. So on the inside, these will be square. But outside, they'll have a little bit of a, a cut to them. I don't think there's going to actually be a door here. I think it's just me, me needing access while we're building these things to do it. And one more, I think. So I think after this height, we might end up going um, to switching over to just the roof. I'll probably go with five instead of four, just because I, I prefer to build in in odd numbers. But um, for now, oops, missing a chunk here. And I think we're also missing some stuff over here, yeah. Can see us running out of stone brick real fast. Yes, yeah, so that feels that feels pretty solid, right? I like how they're thick enough that they kind of block the view of the bridge. Like so when you're coming over here, you can see it's a bridge, but you're not going to be able to see the whole thing until you actually get get kind of like this, which is cool. I'm liking that. This is still a little bit close for me, but I think we might have to just call that a loss. One, two, three, two, three, five, seven. So five. Oh, this is a little bit close. Oh, we moved it because it looked better from over there. Right. Right, right, right. I remember that now. So we have to move this one. This one is incorrect. So this is two, three, four, five. Like that. Did the other one go that close? Yeah, it did. Okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. I almost want to make this middle part larger. Hey, eh? I kind of want to have these be shorter and make this a longer span. I should really look up like a circle or, or an ellipse tool. That might make things a little bit clearer as to what to do. But yeah, like this doesn't feel this doesn't feel long enough. We could just like add two, I guess, to either side. So seven, nine, eleven, and then have it go down from there. One, two. I like that better. I think having this larger span in the middle is good. And if we do have to add a tower, it will make the middle feel a little bit more substantial. 
Um, I feel like we might have to put some supports. It may, maybe not a tower, but we might have to put like a some sort of support underneath the middle there. If not here, then probably at this point, and then at that point there. So, but I'm good with that shape. So I think that the thing to do now is to get underneath it and remove all those um, those slabs. I'm also thinking that these towers need to be a little bit taller because of the way that you can't see the bottom. So that's you only see three-ish, two and a half blocks. So I feel like one, two, three, four. I feel like at least at least five, if not potentially seven blocks. So I'm saying that these are six. The seventh might actually be a stair or something to push push it out a little bit before we do do anything else. So we'll see how that looks, and then we'll have to match the other towers. So that to me is a good minimum height. I don't think I'd want it to be any lower than that. So those were six and these are now four. So we have to do the same over here. And I don't know if these are gonna to be too tall, but like I said, we can, uh, we can always go in and remove these uh, make them not the same height. We could make the one on the on the right here shorter, should we desire. I might do that anyway, like just have that in the plan to keep things asymmetrical. Create some visual interest. Yes, so this gives us enough room should we want to do a gate or portcullis or something across here that we could do something you know sort of interesting i don't know if i do stone i would probably do something more like like wood or or something i don't know what i would do but that's enough clearance that it doesn't feel claustrophobic no matter what we do up there i uh i don't know yet what i want to do for roofs i saw some really cool designs i've been watching a lot of uh jancy and i watched the latest uh, germ zoo boy video where he was talking about his texture pack and he has some really cool roof designs in his videos, uh, as does Jancy, uh, and uh, and Whip as well. Actually, I've been watching some some Whip, so I want to try and challenge myself to have some cooler roof designs on these. I want them to sort of look like the inn. Like I'm really proud of that. I really like the way that, that looks. So I want to give myself the flexibility to do that kind of stuff underneath the eaves, but. I don't know what material I want to make these yet. I think I want to make them out of wood, but I just, I've been building a lot of wood and stone recently, so I may want to change this up a little bit. So that is feeling way more substantial, and I like how this gets tucked in behind, behind there. I'm quite happy with that. So I think it's time to remove all of those under uh, slabs underneath and get the final deck of the bridge in so that we can start to think about where we're going to go from here. So let's just remove some of these so we can get through here. Keep them lines so we know where we, we decided we wanted to keep the change in elevation. And all of this underneath here can go. I'm not gonna take the ones out on the sides just because I feel like we'll just have to redo those anyway, so. We'll come, we'll do the, the outside bit uh, a little bit later. So unfortunately, for some of the texture on this bridge, we're going to be stuck with the majority of it being on a 0.5 height, which means we're stuck with stone brick and cobble and smooth stone slabs until we get other materials in 114. So that is the only part of this that I'm not super happy about. The stairs leading up to this, um, these middle stairs, we can have other textures like cracked and stuff, but we're not going to be able to put cracked up here unless we put it on the sides where we're going to be adding like pillars or things. Like that's the only spot we're going to be able to do it, which is um, a little annoying, but it was the right height. It was the right build height 
for it. Um, the alternative, I guess, is that we could um, we could raise the road leading up to the bridge if that was something we really wanted to do. But at the moment, it's not something that I want to do. It does feel pretty sparse. We're, we might have to turn the edges at least into something solid. Like I don't think slabs look good. I think we're going to have to go with some solid bricks. Um, it might also be too long to not have a support in the middle. We'll see. I don't know if we make the br the deck thick enough. Like if it was this thick the whole way, I don't think it would need like a vertical pillar. I'd like to try and avoid that. I wanted to try and keep this as simple as I can. Maybe if we do like a block and a half the whole way, that could look pretty good. Either way, I am liking the way it's looking. But this is not staying there for now. We could have it be thicker here and then thinner in the middle. I'm thinking here though, minimum, we're gonna want this. If I can place a block here, I probably, oh, I might be just like that. I think that's gonna be our minimum thickness the whole way around. I, you know what? I'm just gonna build a, a temporary spot here. I don't wanna mess up the water, so I'm gonna go one block higher, which I know is gonna be a pain in the butt if I ever wanna get back on it, but. So I'm thinking if we take these out here and then add, oh, not that. We'll have to add another another slab. So this will be two slabs. Oops. And we can get fancy with how this looks as well. And then that's correct. And then this, we can actually take these away and add full blocks just to save on the slab, the slab stuff. And then this will actually look good because it'll connect as a solid full block and then probably again be slabbed at that point. So we'll go over here and do the same thing. That no longer feels like it needs to have a support under it to me. Uh, but I like, I like your idea, Magpie Tier. I think we might, at this point here, we might pull this down and have a different arc underneath it. I think that might be good. We could then even maybe get away with less in there, but right now I think maybe just having this being chunky uh, would be good. Like around here. So somewhere's around maybe the second slab. So one, two, this could be a full block. That's not a full block. Oh, it's because that's a double slab. That's what's going on there. I did that before in the nether on stream. So we could take this out, put a block there, and then slab, full block. And then maybe after that, we could even do stairs. Like that. And then that would be kind of the end of it. So what does that look like? I'm just going to aim at this tree from now on. Oh, not, not even close. Yeah, maybe a little bit more subtle, but it's a little bit steep. Maybe we, we pull it back just a little bit. Uh, so maybe have it just, just trim that off a little bit more. Maybe put the stairs there or something. That could be it. So have the stairs maybe like here. It's a good idea. I like it. I like it a lot. Get rid of that and then put in a slab. And then maybe this is the edge there. Let's see what that looks like. Cosmic Dancer, the power sleeper. Thank you very much. That's a little better. We could even trim it back farther, honestly. 
I think we could go with uh, pushing that back even just one more. That could be enough. Could be enough. So how would we want to do that? Maybe, maybe we don't want stairs at all. I do like using them, but I feel like maybe we do this and maybe we just put the stair here. And then this becomes a slab like that. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So I'm not going to bother doing both sides on stream. I mean, I can mirror it uh, off camera. Uh, that way we don't have to build things twice. But for the edge of it now, I'm kind of wondering whether we want the deck to stay to stay seven wide or whether we feel that we want to do stuff like this. Uh, I guess the most sense would be this one, that one, that one. Like that, right? So what does that feel like if it's narrowing the bridge to be five wide? Well, that doesn't feel too narrow, right? I think that's okay. They're probably going to be higher, but still. Oh no, I, there's definitely going to be some some edges to it. I just I'm just debating as to whether I wanted to put them here or whether I wanted to put them out there. Was the other the other possibility, right? which may, no, 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 may be a good idea to do that too. So I'm just curious as whether I like it being a narrower, narrower approach, because if we put them out here, there's potential to attach them to the tower. Like this could actually come out like that. So we could actually add, uh, that's the deck. So do something like this. And that could add some extra depth on the outside as well. Not that we have to have it the same way. We could have them be wide at the base, but then get narrower in the middle. It doesn't have to be a straight line. That could be a fun challenge too. This is now the viewing tree, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it might be fun to not have them be straight. That does feel narrow. Let's try over here. Let's take a look and see what this looks like on this side if we widen it a little bit. That does feel cooler, doesn't it? I'm thinking I like that. And it does give us this nice connection. Like we could even do something like this. The question is, do we like it going narrower here? Maybe we don't do it right at the step. Maybe we can push this out to here. Do solid, solid. And then maybe there, there. Nope. I feel like at this point, it maybe comes in. Use the height change at the angle change. How does that feel? Yeah, I don't know if I like it getting narrower. I know I was hoping to not have a straight line, but Let's see what this looks like from over here. 
Wider is definitely better. Absolutely. I don't I don't think I like the change inside. We could do something with stairs and maybe flipping them around and that could work. I love that it gives us an extra level of detail out here as well. That's going to be really cool. So I think what we're going to do is we will say no to in here. Like this. Let's just get down here and get rid of all this. So this goes back to being the deck. And it looks like these are just going to be solid. And same thing here. And then I think that's right. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. This could technically be higher if we wanted to do stairs. So we could even alternate farther and do that. Don't know though. Maybe that's just something special we do in the middle. We'll have to see. Very cool. So let's finish up this side over here. Oh, I thought I was going to go down that hole for a minute. <laughs> that would have been that would have been quite funny. Uh, oh, oh, that's not right. I want this, and then I think I used a stair on the other side, like that, and then we'll do the same thing over here, which I think is just a solid block. Yeah. Cool. So this has improved dramatically since we since we started earlier today. I'm quite happy with the progress that we've made. Let's just take a look from over here. I'm liking it. I don't like the stairs. I think we're going to remove the stairs. We're going to have to do something else there. Uh, either fence posts or logs or well, I don't know. We'll come, we'll come up with something else, but I don't like the stairs. So we're going to get rid of those. Grab these back. And these back. And we'll replace them with the slabs. So it's all very samey, and we're going to change that. That. Cool. So I need to take another break. I can stream for a little bit longer, and I think I want to try to do at least one roof design when I come back. But that's essentially what, what the plan is going to be. We need some rockets. And before I go anywhere, let's grab this furniture hammer. So I can, no, that's the wrong box. That's the rock box. I now have multiple shulker boxes with uh, the same color. So it's a little bit trickier. Furniture hammer, that's what we want. So this is part of the data pack that Chuck Chuck has made. And uh, it controls the furniture. So let's just fly over here and we'll see what, what it does. These tables and chairs, the chairs are pretty basic. There's no alternatives yet. Um, I'm thinking with the chairs, I just might want to make like a high back version. Uh, you can put carpet on the chairs by just putting carpet on the block below it and it pops up onto the chair, which is cool. Same thing with this table. This table has got um, a carpet on it and that's what the, the tablecloth texture is like. Uh, but we'll use this as an example right here. So this table, uh, currently has no legs visible, but if I use the furniture hammer and double click it or not click, not double click it, but right click it, it gives me four legs or no legs. And right now it's just the two because the data pack that I have on the server is, is just the two. But eventually as you click it, it goes through the different versions and you get like a one leg. So if you wanted to do a two by two table, you could have each of these have one leg in the corner. Uh, and that way the table would be a two by two table, but would have a one leg in, in each corner. That's very, very handy. Uh, and I really have to tip my hat to the way that, that Chuck Chuck put this together. It's, it's super, super cool. Not something we're going to be using a lot of because uh, they're, they're, it's technically a hidden armor stand that has this like on its head or something. So it's a lot of entities if you want to create like a lot of them. But for the 
what one two three chairs and one two three four tables in here like and that's it for miles around here um that's that's not too bad i don't think that's that's too much i'm creating a custom resource pack for this and that's that's where i am with it